Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video and if you're into Hubs Tutorial and today we got some more customization for your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8 all the way down to the Galaxy Note 5. So just hold on, hold tight and we're going to customize your phone just a little bit more. Hey, what's up? Welcome back for another video. Today we got an awesome application for you all to check out. Now, the name of the application is called Adapticons. No, not Decepticons, Adapticons. Now, this is a really nice application that's going to help you to customize your icons that sits on your home screen to separate you from the people who are sitting next to you so you can go ahead and stand out in the crowd, okay? So I thought this was worthy of review and I hope you enjoy it. The one thing or two things that I like about this application is one, there's no root required. Two, you do not have to download any other launcher in order for this to work. Now, as you can see, I got some icons that's been changed. I got Google AdSense that looks different. I got my YouTube studio. Take a look at the YouTube. That stands out a lot. I like that one. And you also have Android Auto and then Google Chrome beta. I got my baby right in the middle. And this is how much you can customize this application or these icons. Now, do me a favor, go get your popcorn, your milk and cookies, and your pizza, or whatever it is you need to come back and get comfortable, because this is gonna take a few minutes. You know how I like to do it. I like to go deep into detail, so I can give you everything you need to know in order for you to make a decision on whether you wanna download this or not. Now, along with that, this is free for the taking in the Google Play Store. Again, the name of this application is called Adapticons, okay? So let's go ahead, let's dive off into this review. This is what the icon is gonna look like, and you probably really can't see it. We'll give you a better look at it once we go into application right here. And let's zoom in, and we'll be zooming in and out a couple of times, so bear with me. And this is what the icon looks like, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's get started with this. And I'm gonna tap on, let's see, let's pick one. Let's pick a different one. Um, Let's do, let's do this, let's do this Google AdSense again. Let's do AdSense, okay? Now once you get here, it's gonna give you a picture of it and you can take a look at this in different shades so you can see it a lot better. We're gonna leave it right there. You get your icon right there and then if you wanna do a batch, like add more that you wanna do, just line them all up, choose the ones you wanna customize and that's all you have to do is hit Add Select. I'm gonna cancel and then once you hit Add Select, it's gonna line them up right here and all you have to do is scroll through after you finish. Now, here are the different ones you get. You get a few of them in all, you do not get a lot of them. Let me zoom this in a little bit more so you can see a lot better. Now these are some of the shapes. Now in order to get all the shapes, you have to donate a dollar to the developer. That's all he's asking. I think it's a drop in the bucket. I thought he did a really good job on this application. And it brings about not only more shapes, but it brings about other features that's gonna help for you to customize this, these icons, okay? Now, with that being said, you got circle, you got puzzle, look at the top. You got triangle, you got different ones that you can choose to customize to make your icons look different however you would like, okay? Now we like circle, we like the Google Pixel look. So we're gonna choose the circle. You come down to icon settings. Now if you look at that B in the center, you can customize it to however you like. If you want it like this, you can. If not, you can make it however small you would like to do it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, shape size, you can, the whole icon you can make smaller. So you can have it tiny or you can keep it large. I'm gonna keep it large, and you have rotation. Now we're gonna choose one to help you see what the rotation does. We're gonna choose the paw, and we're gonna go down to rotation. And once we hit rotation, you can rotate it to however you would like for it to be. I thought this was really cool. And with that, let's go ahead and put this circle back in, and let's go down. Now, if you want, you can customize the color. You got select solid color, select image, import image from gallery. Let's check out solid. And these are some of the ones you get. Now, I wish that it had a color wheel for me to be able to customize it a little bit more. But what they give you is good for right now. Now, you get material design, so you can choose whatever color you want, if I wanted to choose that one. And I can go in, and what I could do is I could choose a color from the selected app to help for it to look a lot better, okay? We don't want that one. Let's say, 
and let's change it all together. Now they give you select background images that you can choose. And they look really nice. Give you an example of how it's going to look. If you don't like that one, let's go back in. And this is one of the ones I chose for my background, which I thought made one of the applications or the icons stand out a lot. But then, okay, you don't like that. You really want to get deep off into this. You can do a picture. Let's do my baby. Okay, now with this picture, we want to blow it up. That's the background scale. You just go ahead, you blow the whole picture up. But the B is in the way of my baby's face. Now, we can't have that. So now we go up and we customize the size of the B, right? Then we go down. We got arrows, which we can customize to go either way, up or down, left and right. So we want to hold on to it and go down so we can see my baby's face. I can still tell what application this is, which is cool, right? So if I'm cool with that, I can stay with that or I can hit this and I can change the uh, opacity if I want to, you know, just give it a nice look. So I, let's leave it like that. All right. So if I'm OK with that, that's cool. But let's say I wanted to move the background. I can move my baby around however I like. If I want to move left and right, that would be my choice. Depending on what you have in the center of this, you can make this look awesome. OK, so with that being said. Um, you can go down, you got to change icons. Now I can change the title of this if I want to, and I can just put Hux World or whatever you want to put to customize this to your liking. So hit save, enter the save. I'm going to hit cancel. We're not going to do anything. Or if you want a black and white thing, let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit more so you can see. And the background thing looks a little nice. It's not bad. I thought it looked pretty cool. All right, now let's go into change icon altogether. Let's get out of this black and white because we like that a lot better. And here, if you wanted to put whatever icon you got on your home screen, incognito, you can choose any of these different ones or you can choose one that's different that goes with the actual icon if you like. And it gives you several in all, okay? Now let's say you don't like any of these. You can go into import icons or select the icon if you like any of these and then it's gonna take you back and you can save it. But we're going to go into this one, select icon from icon pack. Now, check this out. Here, I've downloaded some and they're free for the taking in the Google Play Store. Let me adjust this a little bit more so you can see. And I downloaded Splendid. Splendid has a lot of nice ones. And again, they're free. They are free. Now, I don't know if they have a pro version or anything like that, but you can go in here and find tons and tons of different icons that you can apply to customize your icons to your liking. But let me show you one that I really like. Now, I downloaded the Pixel Icon Pack Earth, but this one, this one really stands out to me. I really like the look of this, guys. I'm going to use some of these. I haven't really gotten into the customization, but if you want to choose one, this is what will happen. That's going to go over the icon and with that I got a phone call <laughs> hopefully she can wait until I finish with this video but hey but that's what I like about it so let's say you're set or you don't want it you can cancel it and it takes you right back to the one that you like so now if you're ready and you're finished what you could do is you can go ahead and you can hit save so if you hit save you go here, it says add icon to home screen, which is what we're going to do. Or you can save it as the PNG image or you, you can ex export this as an icon pack, which means that you can go back to it and reuse it if you accidentally uninstall it from your home screen. OK, so with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's add it to the I to my uh, home screen and we're going to go in. And this is where it is. And that's all you have to do, guys. Let's zoom in. Let's see if we can get a good look if we zoom in. It's not bad. I need a better quality camera, but that's a good look, guys. That is definitely a good look. All right, you all, that's going to be it for this video. I have to answer the phone call or call my wife back, <laughs> find out what she needs. And if you like this video, go ahead, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. And, and let me challenge you on this one. Let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video. All right, you all, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And as always, I will see you all at the next video. Take care.